Okay, I was reviewing recursive formulas for future lifetimes the other day, and I came across a problem in my ASM manual, which I love, that had some, it's an SOA problem, it had some weird notation in it, so I'm going to share it with you, and hopefully I understand it sufficiently and kind of explain it well. Um, okay, so omega, the limiting age is greater than 70, they tell us that the probability that this zero-year-old, that this newborn lives 40 years is 0.6, at least, that lives at least 40 years, that survives 40 years, is 0.6. That the expected value of t, which they tell us is the future lifetime random variable for zero. So the complete expectation of life is 62 years. And then they give us that the expected value of the minimum of t and some value t is t minus 0.005 t squared for t between 0 and 60. And we know that t is representing future lifetime. And we're trying to find the complete expectation of life at 40. So knowing that this was a problem on recursive formulas, I could see at first that um, first of all, this is the complete expectation of life for zero. Um, so seeing that and knowing that we need to find this complete expectation of life 40 years later at 40, um, and knowing we're in the recursive chapter of my manual, I could see that I would probably want to use the fact that the complete expectation of life for zero is the complete expectation of life bounded by 40. That was a phrase that they used that I really like. The complete expectation of life bounded by 40 is this is the temporary future lifetime. So the complete expectation of life at zero is the complete expectation of life bounded at 40 plus then you get this new complete expectation of life at 40, but only if you live to that point. Oops. Okay, so we have this. We're trying to find this. We have this. Maybe you can deduce that this has something to do with this and that really is the case. So the way I'm thinking about it now is this is the expected value of the minimum of the future lifetime and some other value t. So let's say we write for example, the expected value of the minimum of the future lifetime and 40. Well, we're going to be looking at the future lifetime only up to 40. Because once you get, once t gets past, once the future lifetime gets past 40, 40 is the minimum. So it kind of stops at 40. You can't go past 40. It's bounded by 40. So this actually is the complete expectation of life for zero bounded at 40. So, I mean, you could probably stop the video here, but I'll work it out. Um, so the complete expectation of life, we're told, is 62. Um, the complete expectation of life for zero bounded by 40 well, we're just putting 40 in for t here. So that's going to be 40 minus 0 0.005 times 40 squared. So I'm running out of room. Plus the complete expectation of life at 40 is what we're trying to find. And we're given the probability of surviving, the probability that our zero-year-old survives 40 years, which is 0.6. Okay, and when I work that out, we should get 50 or 
from the complete expectation of life at 40. So maybe you'll see this in the future and you'll remember this video and know what it means. Hope that was helpful. Happy studying.